Howdy friends, this is a quick tutorial on StreamYard. Now, I've actually logged out. Um, so if you come to StreamYard.com, this will be the screen that I imagine you'll be seeing. It's pretty self-explanatory. The easiest way to create professional live streams. StreamYard is a live streaming studio in your browser. Interview guests, brand your broadcast, and much more. Stream directly to Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, and other platforms. Now, to get started, you just enter an email address. Push that. I'll just go down here in a minute. There's this video here, which for some reason doesn't have any sound. I don't know how to put the sound on it, but um, that might just be me. These are the platforms it will stream to. There's probably more. Um, there's two. There's two types of subscription to this there's the basic which is free which is the one I use and I'll log in in a minute and I'll show you what I'm using simple as this well always look professional <laughs> um, I do try my best no software downloads which is true you just um, align it basically align it with your YouTube channel which will be in the settings once you register and there's a few testimonies on here okay so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to log in now okay so I've just entered my email address now, I've already got an account it's a free one it's a basic it doesn't cost anything but to log in you need to get a six digit code which is sent to your email address so I'll just pop off to my email in a minute and get the code okay I'm back that's my code it's sent to my email address um, the process for, for actually setting up an account is pretty similar if not exactly the same really you've just got to verify your email address okay and just push login and this is generally what I show I think okay so I'll have a look at my account in a minute. You go through all these account settings, email address, language, that's about it there. Referrals, billing, contact, help center, partner resource, log out. There's a help center if you need anything, but um so if I go back to the broadcast. I'm going to show you now how to create a broadcast. Now, what you will have to do is, some, is to align your account, your StreamYard account, this one is mine, and align it with your YouTube channel. Um, if I go through these a minute, this is the videos. Right, I don't have any. Um, destinations, here it is. This is very easy. You can add a different destination but this is this is my youtube channel so you add your destination via this um members i think that's a, a you pay for that i ain't paying it you've got team settings there i'm not familiar with what that you do get down here it says your trial your recording trial is ended well if you go on the basic they sort of give you like an introduction to the, um, the facilities that are available to you so you can actually download from that stream yard any record any uh, live streams you've actually done they will save them uh, here you can upgrade I'll show you that in a minute okay upgrade your plan this is the plan I'm on zero dollars you got your StreamYard branding, which is the logo at the top here. You get streaming limits. Now, the streaming limits is 20 hours per month, which is um, it's, it's more than I need, really, at the moment. And you can have six on-screen participants. 
which is six people in the stream up to 10 people can enter the broadcast studio so you can swap people in and out and if you're doing if you're doing a dynamic talk show so you know you can have up to 10 different guests on just to say their piece if you if you want to pay for a better service you get no stream your branding which i don't mind a little bit i don't mind the duck wherever it is up there unlimited streaming all these things here you put your own logo on add backgrounds um that's 20 dollars a month i don't know what that is in pounds and then you can get a professional one well i'm about totally opposite of professional so i'm not going to be paying for that but i don't need anything more than what i've got really here free at the moment so that's a sort of um that's the the different schemes they've got um let's go back so that's my destination i've already set this up i think you just copy and paste your your like channel home domain name youtube.com slash whatever channel it is and we'll go to broadcast now oh this is it past broadcast these are past broadcasts you've got the option of deleting them or um if you actually pay you they, you can actually download them i think um you, you can even re reopen it i think but anyway up and coming now to create a broadcast once you've set your account up um create a new broadcast broadcast to that channel or you can add a new destination there it might be a facebook you can live stream to facebook i haven't tried that yet but i might well do try that at some point um broadcast to that one uh i'll just call it intro i'll call it stream yard intro description stream yard intro now here you can set the same as you can with youtube you can set this to go public which means anybody can see it and your um, subscribers will be notified you can have it as private which is obviously private and unlisted means the same as youtube so you know you can go live and I'll, 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 I'll run through this i'll just do a little test on this because you can unlist it. i think you can unlist it when once it's once the broadcast finished and it's in your videos on youtube you can set it to public okay so i'll keep it as unlisted at the moment just to test that out and then create a broadcast you're entering this is what you go through okay i'll speed bits up okay now i've actually got tape over my camera this is my display name you can change that i could put richard a freemason not a stonemason i can do what i like check settings camera Okay, that's me there, but I don't want me showing at the moment because I haven't put my lippy on. Um, my um, camera is what is it? It's like the, the laptop one. It's on. It's stuck. It, it comes with the laptop. It's not a separate one. Not a plug in or anything. But um, there's this thing here, and this is what it goes when I cut out, and it goes to my little pulsating thing. Um, it's for some reason this HP True Vision HD cuts out. I'll show you the advanced options: standard definition or low. Oh, ooh, high definition. Let's try that. Might try that tonight. Go on to the audio. My microphone. Now, if you're, for example, showing a video. And you want the noise of the video to come out rather than using your uh, using the microphone if you click that 
uh, yeah, if you click that, then the the video will actually play. Like if you're watching a YouTube video via YouTube, that's what you want to do is to switch on to this. But I want my microphone on at the moment. Okay, make sure you've got this echo cancellation on. Do not turn this off unless you have a high quality microphone. I'm wearing headphones or don't have any gas. Okay. A you know, couple of couple of tries at it, a couple of live stream tests, and you know you'll get the sort of hang of it, and automatically adjust mic volume. I haven't tried that without that on yet, but I might try that. In virtual background, I haven't got access to that, and hotkeys don't bother me. I'm not interested in all that. So, the camera. So if let me go in now. If I can come back out of there. Now, if I stop the camera, I've got my avatar here. That's what they call it. And I can edit that. I can change it to this one that I originally added. Pick a picture, add it. Simple as that. And um, I just change it to that because that's what I am, a stonemason. And I use that one all the time now. So when my camera does cut off, it... it, it, it it um, swaps it for that okay so that's your edit avatar start cam again and microphone's working oh so I'm guessing when I oh, was a bit loud that but, um, okay and enter the studio and this is what we see so here we are i'm not part of the stream yet click to add your audio and video so i'll add to stream i haven't gone live yet this is as soon as i push that is when i go live um we've got the settings at the bottom here same as um i just showed you guests Guests see viewer comments, play a sound when guests enter. Oh, we'll try that. Guests must all. Yeah, I'm not interested. And we haven't got any banned guests yet. Okay. Now, you can stop the camera. If I stop cam on here, I'm not going live yet, still. Still up there. But this is what you see on the screen when I'm talking, or if anybody's talking. That pops in when you stop your camera. I'll start the camera again. That's um, it's not sticky tape. It's just a bit of cardboard. You can mute. You know, if you're gonna have a cough or a splutter or blow your nose really hard, sneeze, anything like that, you can mute yourself out. Or if you get somebody knocking at the door, the police, and you don't want anybody to hear it, you can do that. You can sh right. This is the invite guest. If you want to invite some guests, that was the invite button there. I think I've got the giant pointer on. You can copy the clipboard. Okay, it says copied. Cross out of that. Go to comments here. Paste. Chat. There it is. Okay. Now, if you hover over a comment, that's class as a comment, you can push show, and that comes up on the screen. And because this is my channel, it comes up with my avatar for the channel. Okay, now, there's a few functions here. I'm trying to keep this really quick. We got this, which is um, me, and I'm... Actually, let me switch off my cam. Okay, right, so this is me. Okay, if I had my cam running and I'd done my hair and put my lippy on, I would have my face showing, but I'm just going to use this a minute. If you get a guest on, you push that. And because there aren't, isn't a guest on, um, there's not going to be two. There are these different, it's a group layout there. There's just different settings for visuals right these are share the screen things right so i'll go back to this minute and i'll push this one right share okay 
up top that share screen um, share screen select a window or screen now I basically do it the entire screen you need to allow okay and that's the share screen view and that's because I'm on here so if I want to just be me let's push that one that's just me if I wanted to because there aren't, isn't another guest in there and guests usually come in they sort of wait down here until you add them to the stream you know you can remove from the stream same as you can remove that facility and you can add to the stream um, these these are from multiple now if I push that one it's sort of like half and half half screen share um, half me that's if you've got guests there's there are these just these different functions so if I wanted to share um, if I want, I've got a few looks like your camera was unplugged now I get this when my um, driver it actually might come up here in a minute it just says your driver doesn't work so if I start cam yeah I get this the driver update notification and like I said it's um, it's a Microsoft Bill Gates and I just click out of that and then go into settings this is why it takes so long camera is still on so the camera is still on get rid of that it's as simple as that really and then just play around with it um, yeah it's as simple as that really and just play around with it I'm, I'm trying to get this, I'm trying to rush this out because I'm doing a live tonight, 8 o'clock, and I've got a few things I want to um, just edit, really, with the live stream, which is about Satan in the church of Jesus Christ, Satan in the Christian church, so I haven't actually pushed go live yet, so if I push go live, um, and I am actually recording this. Right, I don't know what I got up to then, but I've, I've got. I, I am actually screen recording this, but it does it in increments of ten. But I haven't gone live yet. As soon as you're ready to go live, let's say you you go in live at eight o'clock, and it is now bang on eight o'clock. You just push that, go live. It does that, and I am live. Now I've got open my channel here. Mm. I'll just see if it is there. Because it's unlisted. Live streams. No. Right, it's not listed, so it doesn't even it doesn't actually show. Okay, but I'll show you quickly. I'll show you quickly. I need to edit this really quick as well. This is in my studio. If I look at content, I think YouTube hates me. Okay. Now if I go on this, live, this is now live. But it's set to unlisted, so nobody will watch it. Let me bang that up a minute. Okay, this is the one now. Unlisted. This video won't appear on your channel page. It also won't appear on YouTube search result unless someone adds it to a public playlist. So what I can do is click that. I can make it public or private. I'll make it public, I think. Publish. And then if I go back to 
StreamYard. Something went wrong. I think it's because I've overloaded myself. I've got so many things going on. And, um, unmute, mute, enter studio. Your, it tells you that you're not part of the live stream. Click to add your add to the stream. Okay. Share screen. As simple as that, really. It's just messing around with it. Um, okay. You can just have the whole screen sharing. And that's pretty much about it. Share. So what you can you can share a video file. Try and think of one of them. and that bing bing means it's recording. So now I'm actually recording this. So I did about a uh, twenty minutes that I can edit down. I want to edit it edit it down. Um, I did twenty minutes before I began the broadcast. So I'm going to end it now. I don't know if anybody's watching. Nobody's watching. Look, it tells you up here how many people are watching. It's been live for 10 minutes. And what I'm going to have to do is upload it as a video rather than the live stream because I knew it was going to take a long time. Oh, somebody's watching. Who's that? Who is that? Um, this is a test yeah. and this is how you can change these I can, I'll go back to me this is what you see when you're hosting a live broadcast using stream but I use stream I didn't go on with the um, the YouTube one. I was two watching now. Oh no! Who's watch? Who's out there? This is. I'm only. I'm doing a video on how to sort of set this up. Streamyard, right from blank up to broadcasting. Who's out there then? Anybody I, uh, I know? I'll tell you what. I don't get a lot of, or don't get any recently. Is trolls. Yeah, so, anyway, I'm going to leave you all in peace now, yeah, I'm going to live at 8 tonight, um, topic is that's the topic, Satan in the church, I wasn't going to, but I come across something today that just did it all right i don't know who's out there but thanks oh dave goddard hello dave david i'm doing a i'm doing um a, a, like a test um like a, it says stream origin intro somebody's asked me to sort of go through it and it's taken me ages um to know how to do it and i just waffle on and this computer's being a bit slow at the moment but um yeah, this was really just an uh, uh, how to set up your StreamYard studio and things like that, little things. So, good to see you, David. Are you about later on? Do you want to come on for a quick chat? There's a link at the top. Do you want to come on and say hello quick? This link here. Click it. It's right at the top. Come on, say hello. But I'm not hanging around because I'm going live at 8, but i got this thing. Um, Satan in the church. That's the Church of England. But, um, oh, thanks for popping by, David, and saying hello. Well, I guess that, well, saying me. <laughs> All right, my friend. If you're about later on, 8 o'clock, Rob Wild might be available. This, yeah, hopefully he's available because I don't like talking to myself. All right. Right, I'm counting down now. I'll share my screen.
screen shared this is what you can see and I'm going to end the broadcast now and I'll just consolidate oh sandwich I can't get to grips with StreamYard I'll watch this back yeah um, David it's what I've done is I started off I started off with it unlisted all right David I started off with it unlisted it's, I'll do a video as part of a video but most of it as as wasn't live most of it was record being recorded setting it up all right hopefully David come on and have a chat as well if you've got any experience of Satan in the church all right my friend God bless God bless thank you for coming by yeah yucky da can you see that up above the head I'm gonna click that now that ends the broadcast yeah Oh, that's what happens and broadcast how did it go and this is the end of the broadcast this is what you're scared good you write just write a comment this was a test Many thanks for your Excellent service. May God bless you all. Okay, send feedback. Close. Yeah. And then all you do is go up here. Return to the dashboard. Okay. And pass live streams. Oh, there, that was stream your intro, that ended, that was 15 minutes long, gosh. So, and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. If I go to this, this is that Microsoft Expression thing, I can stop the recording.